Yo, Cubers. Okay, I've got something extra special for you today. We've got the Huameng TG. And now, a lot of you are gonna be thinking, what does TG stand for? Well, wait until the end of the video. You've got to stick around, you can't skip forward. You've got to wait until the end. And, um, well, we will find out. So, uh, what is the Huameng TG? It's a new three by three from Moyu. And from the top of the box, I can read this one. It says Maglev Core Mag... Maglev Core Magic Cloth version. I thought I could read it, but it's getting quite late in the day. Here we've got a little arrow and some text. I would really love to know what that actually says because, uh, I don't know, maybe it says open here. I'm gonna scan it, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so this says open from here. I'm sure that just says that, but I've gotta know. So let's find out, uh, translate. That says, huh, funny enough, that actually says Huameng. It should say Huameng because you've got the TG after it. But what does this say? What, what, what? Okay, let's find out. Need to know. Need to know. Third order Rubik's Cube. So Huameng TG, third order Rubik's Cube. I'm learning. Okay, and this side, uh, Magnetic Magic Clothing Edition. Uh, I'm missing a little bit of the characters, I think, but uh, still. Yeah, okay. So anyway, that is the box. Uh, that is everything, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you. Ah, I'm only joking. Of course I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to have a little look. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have opened this just to... Well, I wondered how the box opened, if I'm brutally honest, because, I, I, well, obviously I didn't read this. And, I, yeah, I wanted to know how the box opened, and I pulled it, and then that happened. And I've not stopped doing that since I opened the box about three days ago. Uh, this is the best box in the world. Forget the cube, buy this for the box, and you will thank me. Um, anyway, let's get into it and see what comes with the Huameng and what it's all about. So, we've got the accessories. Accessory box. I'm not going to scan that. I'm sure that probably says accessory box. Just move that to the side and focus. Boom. Okay. So what accessories do you get with the Huang Meng? And I'm not going to lie, I have not been in this box yet. So all of this is new. I don't know what is in it. So we've got the solution pamphlet, which is what we usually see in cubes these days. Uh, so how to solve it. Most people know how to solve it. And if I'm really honest, no one's really going to read this. They're going to jump on YouTube or TikTok or wherever else. Uh, we've got a screwdriver on the end of it. I can only imagine the screwdriver is for the uh, adjusting the magnets, maybe. Don't know, or, or it's redundant. And then you've got this funny looking wheel bubble blower. Um, let's get the cube out and see what that does. They've sort of followed GAN with the boxing. Not only does this look a bit GANny. Um, this display case also looks a bit ganny. 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 It's a weird word. Ganny. Anyway. Ooh. Ooh, that feels... Do you know what? It feels It feels like an old Moyu cube. I mean, if you feel past the UV coating, it could also also it could almost be a moyu cube from i don't know like a stronger magnetic rs3m or something it's it's got character it's not lightweight all of the cubes these days are just so light i mean think of the gan is it the gan 14 pro or the gan 14 it's just so light there's nothing to it it's got no character whereas some of the moyu cubes They've just, they've got something. I mean, this is heavy. This, I'll, I'll, I'll put up on screen what this weighs, but this is heavy. Like, this is a workout. Um, but I'm sorry, I can't, I can't focus. I've got to know what this bubble blower does. Okay, so we have got a new adjustment mechanism. Okay, so yeah, we've got the new adjustment mechanism. I'm not too sure what that is or what it's called, but I'm sure TG plays a role somewhere. Something gears, tooth gears. That could be what it stands for. Gotta wait till the end, remember? Um, let's just see how it works. See what, have I got a faulty product or something? Usually there's like an instruction manual that tells you what it all does. Um, I haven't got anything. I've literally just got this. Uh, so I'll figure that out. I don't know. Maybe this is just a dodgy one and they haven't put it in there, but I don't know what way it goes for. I mean, we can figure it out, but usually they have something in the box that says what it does. So I'm assuming this pulls out. Yeah, that pulls out and that turns. Okay, doesn't turn to the left, it only turns to the right. And I'm assuming we will use this to adjust that center part. Oh my gosh, okay, whoa. 
Okay, be really careful when you use this, because if you only want to turn it one notch, that's almost impossible. You've got to turn it like 17 times to figure out where you need it. Oh my, oh. There's like, there's no resistance, so you just turn it the tiniest bit and you skip like two or three teeth. Um, that's gonna be, can you just, oh, okay. Do you know what, it's probably easier just to use your finger. You probably don't need this bubble blower. That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna coin it the bubble blower. We haven't got a blank center cap, which is a little bit of, I thought they were making real strides in like giving you a blank center cap for blind, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing not. Um, how does this come out? Can we just, oh, there we go. Okay, so it's maglev, yeah, well, we know it's maglev from the, uh, from the box. Um, oh, wow. So this is the Huameng. So we've got ball core. Looks like we have got eight magnets in the core itself. And then around the outside, we've got magnet, uh, blah, blah, blah. we've got adjustable magnets. They've got max and min written on them. And this seems to be on, how does it work? Oh, so it seems to be on max from, from default. Is it on max? That's really confusing. So I don't know if you can see Max and Min in the video, but here just to the left and right of the Blues Isles is, oh, there we go, Max and Min. So what I'm going to assume, if I may assume, is if we drag it towards Min, it will go down. God, why is that so tight? Should that really be that tight? That is hard, that's like hard to, okay. Oh, that one's a bit easier. Okay, why was one just really hard? Maybe it's gotta be on a desk just to make sure you're putting pressure down. Um, does that do, oh, it doesn't do both sides. Oh no, that means you've got 24 different adjusters to do. You've got to do two on every single edge, which means you've pretty much got to take it. Well, you haven't got to take it apart. you just got to offset a layer, but mind you, that would be tricky in itself, would it? That'd be fiddly. Um, I don't know. Anyway, we'll put that to the side. Let's jump on to the top layer or the bottom layer or the side, I don't know. Are you color neutral? It could be a side layer. Uh, let's see how this all works. Oh, and look. Okay, so you do have magnets in the bottom of the edge pieces. So they, I'm assuming they repel. Yeah, they feel like they repel. Well, they wouldn't attract because otherwise you'd get weird auto aligning. Um, let's just pop that one back in there. That was... Okay, so how does this work? We've got the corner. And I'm going to assume that just, oh yeah. Okay, so as I turn this down, what's, what number is that on? Okay, so that's on one at the moment. So one is gonna be the strongest magnet, just in case it doesn't come with a pamphlet. I don't know if this is just a um, one of their, well, this is a MoU sample, but I thought it would have come with some instructions. Um, number one is the strongest magnetic uh, setting. Then you've got two, three, four, five, six, six is the weakest. So if you want this to be really, really strong, you wanna put this on one. So corners on one and edges on max. Ah, this is where this thing comes in handy. I think, is it? Can I rock it a little bit? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's pop this back to, oh, I don't know what setting this comes on from default. I'm assuming three and three. Okay, so this is on three and three from default. Do you know what, it's, oh, it's a little bit blocky, but I think I think that's just because I'm not a fan of really, really strong magnets. I've also got an infected uh, finger. <laughs> you don't want to know about that, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit swollen. I caught it or something and it's, uh, yeah. It's not infected, it's just really red and sore. Um, and it's, it's that finger that I want to, do the middle bit with. Um, overall, okay, this does feel like a really, really good cube, like a premium cube. This is, I'm assuming as it's a Huameng, this is the YS3M V2, or it's the upgraded YS3M. Um, but yeah, I think it has huge potential. Mo you are sticking with the sort of, they've all got the same sort of vibe. When you pick one up, it's, uh, 
I don't know, it's hard to... I think, yeah, you could differentiate between having the, the, the YS3M and, and this one, that's for sure. But, I mean, I'd, I'd be intrigued to know what the weight was like on the YS3M. I'm, I'm sure I'll go and look after this video, but this feels really heavy. I know I said it earlier, but it does feel so, so heavy. Um, anyway, right, you've listened to me waffle on for the past 14 odd minutes. You need to know, actually I'll probably edit the video down so it won't be 14 minutes. You've probably listened to me for probably about 30 seconds. You've skipped right to the end because you want to know what TG stands for. Y you, yes. Okay. TG stands for... I'm not going to lie, I have no idea. I've messaged both of you, they haven't replied to me. I, I would love to know. If any of you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, toothed Gears, I'm going to go with or Tasty Gammon, because I love gammon. Uh, anyway, I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching, and if you have any tips on how we can improve these videos, then do let me know in the comments below. Also, like I said, let me know what TG stands for. Um, I'm gonna go with Tasty Gammon, because every time we go to Toby Carvery, it's just gonna have gammon, gammon, gammon. So, yeah, anyway. See you in the next video.